Hello everyone, this is Jana Smakula for Spellbinders Paper Arts and I'm inviting you to create a Father's Day card with a DIY embossed background in this video. I will be using the Hipster 2 die set along with the Amused 1 set to create this project. I'm going to start by creating a DIY embossing plate for a custom embossed background. This is a useful technique when you want to create a unique embossed background for your project but don't have that special design of embossing folder. The idea is to die cut several identical images, adhere them onto a panel, and use that panel as a faux embossing plate or faux embossing folder. To create the panel, I will be using scrapbook adhesive sheets to adhere the die cuts onto the background. You can use similar product like Stick It from Ken Oliver or even use glue. However, I find using adhesive sheets easier and less messy. I'm going to go ahead and adhere one sheet onto heavy cardstock. Doesn't matter what color of cardstock you use at this point, what matters is its thickness, so don't use anything thin. I'm using 110 pound cardstock here. The thicker the cardstock you use, the deeper is going to be the embossing, although it's never going to be as deep as embossing created with an embossing folder. I already have my die cutting machine out and I'm using platinum today and I'm going to go ahead and die cut a number of mustaches out of this panel. I want to create an embossing plate with a mustache design to emboss a panel for my Father's Day card. I'm using a piece of washi tape to tape the die in place and just cutting it in my machine. There's no need to emboss the die cut if you're using it for this particular technique. You will need to die cut quite a bit of elements to cover the entire card front and the number will depend on the size of the card you're making and also the size of the element that you're using. You can also mix and match different die cuts for your embossing plate. I'm only using this one design today. So keep die cutting until you've cut the entire sheet. Now it's time to start building our embossing plate. Now I have another panel of cardstock. The color of this piece doesn't matter and the thickness doesn't matter as much anymore. For best results, I've taped it down to my cutting mat and I'm using a ruler and a pen to add grid lines based on the size of my die cut. Usually I like to use a pencil, but for the sake of the video to make sure the lines are clearly visible, I'm using a pen. This will look a bit ugly at first, but this isn't our final piece, so it doesn't matter how it looks. So I'm adding grid lines to make sure I adhere the die cut elements straight and evenly spaced. I'm starting in the center and moving out, first going down and then going up, filling the entire panel with the die cut mustaches. Now this is a time consuming process, but you will be able to use this DIY embossing plate more than once, so it's worth it in the end. And having adhesive on the back of my die cut helps a great deal to make this process go faster and easier, however, you can also use glue if you prefer. It turned out I didn't have enough die cuts to cover the entire background, so I had to die cut some more, and I'm using those to complete my DIY embossing plate. Now with the adhesive sheets that I used, pressure needs to be applied to set the adhesive in place. So I'm going to run this panel through my machine using a die cutting sandwich first, and then using the embossing sandwich, you know, just to gradually increase the amount of pressure. You can see I've also trimmed this panel and now it really looks like a little embossing plate. Once I've run it on its own in my die cutting machine, it's ready to be used to emboss cardstock. So I'm going to build my embossing sandwich just as I would to emboss with a die and emboss a piece of white cardstock. And check out the result. It looks absolutely beautiful and unique. And you can use either side, the embossed or the debossed side of your cardstock. Like I mentioned before, you can reuse your embossing plate as many times as you like. So I've gone ahead and embossed a piece of green cardstock for my Father's Day card. I've also added some ink. I've blended Distress Crushed Olive Ink. I trimmed this panel slightly and I also die cut a few additional pieces for my card. Before putting everything together, I'm going to distress the edges of this panel with my scissors. There are specialty distressing tools out there, but I rarely do any distressing, so I don't have any, and I just use my scissors instead. I'm going to foam mount my embossed and distressed panel onto the card base using black foam adhesive for a pop of dimension. I'm also going to add a few additional elements. I've die cut a smartphone shape out of brown cardstock, a few tickets out of yellow and white cardstock, and also created a dad die cut by die cutting the word red twice and replacing the first letter with a D. 
I'm going to add a heat embossed sentiment that reads, Every day is Father's Day, add a die cut mustache and a couple of wooden stars and finish making this project. So here's a final look at this card featuring a DIY embossing plate using Hipster 2 dies from Spellbinders. If you have any questions about this project, please leave them in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe to Spellbinders YouTube channel for more education and inspiration. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, bye!